Welcome back to AP Psychology in under 3 minutes. No time for intros, let's get into it. We are now going to start talking about the field of developmental psychology. So what does developmental psychology study? Simply put, it studies how humans change over time. And because most change happens throughout childhood, that is the area developmental psychologists tend to study most. So yeah, if we look at Unit 3, each topic is packed full of lots of areas of developmental psychology that we will get to, but in this topic, we we first need to understand that just like any field of psychology, there are a lot of debates that go along with it. Mainly, we will go over three of them. As we covered before, nature versus nurture is a very complex debate. Developmental psychologists tend to say the answer is both. The obvious reason for this is because the nature or genes set the foundation, but your nurture or environment shapes how that foundation actually develops. Now here's another debate. And to teach it, let me ask you a question. Are we mostly the same person throughout life, so stable, or do we drastically change as we develop? Actually, what I want you to do is pause the video right now and put what you think the answer is in the comments before I answer it myself. Alright, here it is. The answer is both. If you have a very temperamental personality, like say, always being shy or always being outgoing, then yes, you will be mostly stable throughout life. That being said, many people's social attitudes and coping skills change a lot throughout life. So take that answer however you'd like. Finally, the last debate. Essentially, do humans develop gradually and smoothly, or does development happen through stages and processes? The point here is that psychologists debate which traits develop smoothly versus which which develop in jumps. Alright, really quickly before we can start talking about developmental psych, you first need to understand how most of the content in the field has been found. That is mostly through two types of research designs. First is a cross-sectional study. This is where psychologists compare different age groups, like let's say comparing a 5-year-old to a 10-year-old at one point in time. The issue with this design is that these would be different kids and therefore differences might be generational and not developmental. So that leads to the most reliable design, which is a longitudinal study. This is where you follow the same group of people over a long period of time. And yes, this might be more accurate, but it unfortunately takes forever and lots of people over time will lose interest and drop out of these studies. Alright, finally we can start talking about developmental psych. Whoa, 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 why is the screen closing in? Come on, man, this video is just about to get good. Well, I guess we'll just cover everything else in future videos. Oh, and here are your AP style questions. And here are your answers. I will see you in the next one.